he will. It is just AFK. He's focused. Okay. He's focused on other things. <laughs> the Golem Cam. They've got priorities. Mid lane. Vassal's done, and they've got a charge. He Mid. Doesn't, doesn't want to feed it. Back pure. up a minute. Now get Reaper stuck down on a pure. That's pure gone. So if Saxon can get out of this, Fishman on top of him, the battery salt will get him in return. And a big kill there for Nine. Slamming down Pure with the Reaper Siphon, also with the chase down on the Storm Stormer. Done. He'll get the double. Two kinder. This, this is going to be a bit of a risk. Ooh, they have Blink on the Wyvern, uh, Blink on the Enigma, Blink on the Storm. They're not going to get away with that. They're going to have to back off. No way. They're not doing Roshan anytime soon, is But, but they, they heal up a lot. Mm, see to the side. Storm Stormer's in with the jump. Saxon, he's going to fall low. They get the curse off here as well. Controlling Skeeter. Two dead on Tundra. Pure is very low, but Toby's in with a jump. Black Hole to control both nine and Skeeter. Skeeter goes down. Cold embrace to the side. He healing up Pure. Storms on turns with the Avalanche on the 33. 33 has to run. We'll see a buyback coming from Zach. Back in on this. We'll see Entity smoke up for positioning around here. Look at these wolves trying to scout, but they are smoked. I mean, it's a risk that Tundra's taking, but you know, a risk that understandably they have to kind of go for. Pure's going to head it in with the Roach up. We'll get the kill on the Roach. Who's going to be able to pick up the Anchor? It's Pure. Pure's ever grabbing. Curves to the side. Hold down the thread and the sacks are out. Pure. He's going to chase down Snaking. Jump forward from Toby here. We'll go with the Mount It's on to nine. Toss combo. Four for Storm Stormer. Burst through the Necrobot. They bring him down. Pure. He's ready to continue to clean up more. He's looking to chase down Skeeter. Skeeter's trying to run, but Pure's got the speed to close down upon him. He's at three dead on Tundra. Again, Tundra, not to, to take the fight without getting anything themselves. They do manage to find both Toby and Kata Omi. The 33 will get caught. Triple kill. Yeah. And just look at this now. They're restricting the map even more. Pure. They'll be happy to tank the rupture to, to get it down onto nine because he's got an Aegis Pure. He doesn't even care if he goes down the one step. See what they can get done. Oh, it's ready. They're ready to turn on well, Skidder. Skidder will be able to get the BKB off. That's pure down the wants. Fishman will die. See Storm Storm are holding his ground. It's going to get the Reaper side thrown straight down onto him. Tundra will be able to take... See if Entity want to try and take a fight without their Tiny. No BKB for 15 seconds also on Bloodseeker. So pure has to be careful. Radiant's middle tower is falling. Rupture. Boom. There it goes. See Toby jumping in. Just to make sure they have a chance to finish it off the kill on Sack, so they'll get him. And now soon as Storm Stormer's back. Oh, he's looking already for looking for the, for the action. Yeah, he's going straight at them. Let's see if he can set up. Can he get Toss nine. back? Oh, he's going to be able to get it. Toss back. Over towards Pure 9. Radiance He'll try to run. Under attack. A very limited options here. And this will be a fair bit of money lost as well there. Nitty. They know. They just know how much the Tundra's is trying to avoid it. Yeah, without Reaper, they can't actually go for that type of assassination play either. So Entity feeling very confident to make a move. Oh, I'm thinking, trying to go for a bit of de-warding. Yeah. He'll take advantage of that, get the kill. Ooh, I like if he does commit for the refresher too. Four charges of rupture, of course, that's going to come out if he does commit for it. I think he switched the build. I think he finished. He's going to be going for the Abyssal Blade first, probably. Nah, nah, he's got the recipe. Oh, he did buy the recipe. Oh, okay, cool. Keep going in for it. Keep cool. going I in don't... for it. Bottom line, Storm Stormer. They'll get straight in. Take out Saxon. Against the Silver Edge here over the wall. Skeeter. Skeeter's trying to run. He's just dead. <laughs> for Tundra. Dyer's middle barracks are under oh. attack. Skeeter. Uh -oh. Uh oh. He. Yeah. Yes. Probably dead. Yeah. Satanic. Okay. Okay, but Fishman's got the cheese. Skinner will be able to take Fishman down. Pure actually has to back off it. All right. He's got another rupture. He'll step to the side because he has got the Aegis. So even if he goes down the wall, he's not going to care too much. Obviously, the edge. Storm Storm is just killing everybody. And the Cold Embrace is there to keep Storm Storm alive. They're ready to keep this fight going, Entity. They will take down Skinner. Triple kill. Four. Yeah, as we said, the two carries, right? Yep. Sure, they can almost kill Storm Stormer. They kill the, they kill Pure once, but then Storm Stormer turns and he just kills three heroes in a matter of seconds. Is this tiny? <sighs> Onto the final racks. Dyer's top top is under. Up oh, and on for more kills. Storm Stormer picks up another. To the buyback coming from Snake King. <laughs> Socks are doing anything he can. 
Oh, there we go. The final set of racks taken. The mega creeps are up. We're probably going to see the GG's typed any moment. And there they are. GG is called. Entity will take this game one. And it, it really did look like they just knew exactly what Tundra wanted to do. They have planned for this perfectly. From everything, from the laning situation.